This short fertility yoga practice is something that you can practice daily to help you to manage your stress levels, which in turn will help you to balance your hormones. If you'd like a longer practice that will help you to boost circulation and work into the reproductive organs, I'll link a couple below for you. So let's just start in a comfortable seat. For me, this is cross legs, but you might like to put your legs out wide or out in front of you, however works best for you. You could even do this in a chair. And we're gonna take some seated circles. So hold onto the knees and gently rolling the chest forward, almost like the upper part of your body is stirring the lower part of your body. Maybe noticing any parts of your body that feel tight or sticky. You could breathe and just rock back and forth there. And then gently reversing the circles in the opposite direction. Let's start to bring some awareness to our breath. So breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the nose. So see if you can notice your natural breath rhythm and then deepen it just a little, breathing in a little bit deeper each time. Good. Let's come back to center now. So head, shoulders, and hips are all stacked. I'm gonna take cactus arms as you inhale, open up through the chest. And then as you exhale, round through the spine, look towards the belly. Inhale as you open up. So take your time here, really enjoying the movement, enjoying the breath. Exhale as you round, look towards the belly. One more here, inhale as you open up. And exhale as you round. Good. We're gonna come up and over into a kneeling lunge. So just step one foot forward. Make sure that the feet are on train tracks. So you don't want the feet in alignment or you'll be really quite wobbly. Take them on train tracks. If you need to, they can even come a little bit wider than that. And then I want you to inhale, reach forward. And then exhale, gently shift the arms back, opening up into the front of the body. And then reach the hands down to the mat. Straighten up the front leg and gently fold over this front leg. So getting a beautiful stretch in the hamstring of this front leg. And then we move forward again. Inhale, reach forward, bend back into that front knee. Exhale, leaning back. Reach the hands down, straighten up through that front leg, gently folding over. One more time. Inhale, sweep forward. Exhale, lean it back. And then bring hands down, folding over. Good, coming back to center. So feeling supported and strong through the legs. So almost like the feet are squeezing towards each other. I just want you to lean the left hand down and the right arm up and over. Good, and then gently lean in the opposite direction. Good, and then reach both hands down. Step that front foot back. Let's take a little rock from side to side just to release. And then we're gonna move into what is called cat cow. So with the hands under the shoulders, inhale, lift the tail, lift the head. Exhale, round through the back. Look towards the thighs, press the floor away. And again, inhale, lift the tail, lift the head. Exhale, round, press the floor away. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Good. Let's step that right foot forwards. Into that kneeling lunge once more, moving straight into it. Inhale, reach the arms forward and then exhale, draw them back. Bring the hands down, fold over that front leg. And again, inhale, take your time. Remind yourself there's no hurry. You are exactly where you're meant to be. Exhale, fold. Even when sometimes it doesn't feel like it. Keep breathing. Last one, inhale. And... Folding over, exhale. 
Good. Bring the hands down, step that front foot back. This time you're going to take the knees nice and wide and come to child's pose. So you can practice child's pose down on the floor with the arms outstretched. If you have a bolster or cushion, you're welcome to bring that underneath the chest just to give you that extra little bit of support. Breathing here. Letting the head, the neck, the shoulders, the back, the hips, bring it all get heavy. Allow yourself to feel supported in this position. Good, on your next breath, coming all the way up, back to have a seat. We end our practice by bringing our hands to heart, just taking a moment, being here, mind and body connected. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Like I said, if you enjoyed this practice and would like longer fertility yoga classes, I'll leave some linked below in the description box. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.